Hi, this video is a way for us to enroll students in our classes because Campus Nexus is not working as we would expect it to. This method is actually an old method, the method that we used to use before we had students automatically added to our classes. I will show you a document you hopefully have already seen. Um, it's something that Jonathan sent out about how you're supposed to log into your classes. So the first thing that we need to do is log into your class to see who's registered for your class. So you click on my CGCC, you click on the student uh, portal, click login, and then click faculty portal. And I'm already logged in. So uh, one part that you got, you got skipped there was, you're gonna see a screen that has this on it. You need to make sure that the email address that you use, in, instead of it having cgcc.edu, it says cgcc.cc.or.us. This is the old email account. I can't, I don't understand why we needed to use this, but regardless, we do. So use this with the password that you would normally have. And when you get there, you'll see this page, and then you click on My Classes and then you can click on Gradebook. And then you've got your list of classes here, and I'll just pick this bottom one here. And initially it's gonna to go to the calendar, and you can click on these other tabs. These guys are tabs here. And so if I clicked on my term, midterm grades or final grades, you get a list of the students that are in your class. I'm not gonna do that for FERPA violation reasons. So when you do click on that, so this person has clicked my grades, and then this is the list of the students you would see. This is the list you're looking for, and from these names, these are the names you're gonna to use to enter those students into your class. So let's go to Moodle. Um, get yourself logged into Moodle, get to your classes, go to my dashboard, go to my Tuesday Thursday class, and then I'm gonna to go to uh, participants. You didn't used to have this button. More than a dozen years ago, you had this button, you would enroll your students automatically. Um, sorry, I'm gonna kill that. I want to enroll that person. And so what you're going to do is click on enroll users. And then you're, it's set to assign this as a student, whomever you put in. So I'm going to put the fake student in that I have comment test student. And then enroll selected. So there's me as the teacher. And then there's the student um, as a student. So that's it. It's a whole thing. Um, we might not have to do this. Campus Nexus might work, but I wouldn't place any bets on that happening. All right, thanks.